climate action, taking action to solve the climate crisis, uh, galvanises teams. Jigsaw 24, we believe we've got a vision. We want to be a net zero carbon IT channel industry leader. We're going to be net zero carbon within the next few months and we'll, we'll make an announcement at that when it's ready. We're very close to that already. I think what we've tried to do is not use consultants too much and learn about it ourselves. And if you do it yourself, you learn a lot more. So I think learning and networking and galvanising has been important. And then hopefully taking partners with you, but also more importantly talking to other manufacturers so that people can realise that this is mainstream, this is unavoidable, this is a priority and it has to happen really, really fast. Well planned, thought through properly, uh, but it's got to happen quickly because we are in a crisis and this is an emergency that's got to be faced. We've got very heavily involved with our partners on recycling. We're now 71% recycled and the other 29% uh, doesn't go to landfill, it, it gets used for uh, incineration for, for energy. So recycling is an important area. Offsetting is an important temporary step to, towards getting to where we really want to get to, which is uh, net zero. So we need to accelerate the transition towards sustainable transport. And the way to do that is to uh, leverage on the government's uh, incentives there with uh, electric uh, vehicle salary sacrifice. So we're working on that as well. So lots of initiatives in, in lots of areas. I think the most important things we've done are things that involve communication and inspiration. So the jigsaw tree was our attempt at a Blue Peter style diagrammatic representation of where we've got to. So it's, it's, it's just a picture. It's a picture of a tree, it's, it's about six foot tall. And the good things that we've done are in the bushes, the tree, in, in the branches. And the plans we intend to carry out are in uh, the roots. And we, when our aim is to end up with a funny looking tree with no roots and, and lots of branches. And that's updated every six months so people can see that. We've got our cardboard cutout of David Attenborough looking over everybody. We've got plants everywhere. We've gone plants berserk. We've got certificates showing that we've got good energy, renewables power for all of our power because 76% now of our power comes from good energy and by next year, early next year, 22, we'll be 100% powered by renewables. We've got our Woodland Trust uh, certificates so people can see how much we've offset. We've got some pictures of the most important uh, sources of power uh, in the world, in Britain in particular, uh, solar and so on, so people can see them. We've got a whole oasis room which has got in it all sorts of eco uh, actions and plans and quotations from Greta Thunberg, from David Attenborough, quotations going across the ceiling. Uh, we've even got fridge magnets on the fridge. We've got a toilet twinning initiative whereby we're sponsoring toilets uh, in developing countries. We've got the cycle shed outside. You know, Dyson dryers, not hand towels now, so you can dry your hands in the toilets. Lots of things that make a practical difference. Water fountains, so people can see that this is real. We want people to be inspired about it and think about as well what they can do at home to follow and to emulate what we're doing. So we're encouraging people to, to download the Paw Print app, for example, to get a rough idea of their own household's carbon footprint. I think absolutely Channel is part of the solution. I think we should be proud of what we've done so far and we can be proud of a lot more. I think it doesn't take an expert to work out that we got through COVID largely because of tech. OK, maybe that's a slightly broader definition of tech to include pharmaceuticals with a vaccine. But all the work that's been done with tablets and with communication, with Zoom and with Teams, the world couldn't have got by without tech. And we're going to need tech more than ever before in the next 10 years while we sort out this, this real challenge of, of, of global warming. We're talking about carbon capture, we're talking about battery storage, we're talking about electric vehicles. Uh, software has a huge role to play in optimising the way we control our energy and manage our energy so that we can maybe charge our cars at certain times in the day. There is an almost unlimited opportunity for tech to help solve this crisis. I think tech will play a leading role and can be very proud of that.